some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan with a more Sovtard who seems to believe in the uh, Tooth Fairies uh, kind of thing of a uh, secret trust account that we're all supposed to have. You know, the kind of thing. To try to get out of paying a uh, traffic ticket where she owes uh, some money to the state because of her own damn stupidity. Where she believes that a red light, a red traffic light, doesn't apply to her at all. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Officer Maloche? Good morning. Good morning. All right, and Miss Bay, can you hear me? Hello? Miss Bay, can you hear me? Oh, great, another Bay. How many bays do we have around here anyway? Yo! I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Yes. Okay. All right, I can hear you too. All right, this is 240P01688. This is the People versus uh, Lita Bay. Uh, Officer Malosh, would you please state your name? Yes, ma'am. First name Nathan, N A T H A N. Last Malosh, okay. M L O C H E. And Miss Bay, would you please state your name? I'm the executor, executrix of the estate for Lita Bay. Oh, you're the executor. You're not the actual person. Okay. Well, uh, that hasn't really worked too much in the past because according to the laws of the many states, you've got to be a qualified attorney to uh, actually represent anybody other than yourself. Are you a qualified attorney? If not, then uh, you're breaking the law at this point. All right, so we're here today for, looks like a ticket that was issued back on July 14th of 2024. All right, Officer Malosh, uh, it's the government's burden. So you'll go first, raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is truth, it's the truth and nothing but the truth under the penalties of perjury? I do. All right. So what can you tell me about the ticket that was issued on July 14th, uh, 2024 uh, to Lita Bay at Coolidge and Pearson in the city of Oak Park? Yes, ma'am. The citation was issued uh, due to Miss Bay disobeying the red light at actually Coolidge and North End. Um, once we got through that intersection, Miss Bay did come to a stop at Coolidge and Pearson. And then once that light cycled through, I initiated a traffic stop just north of Pearson, just south of Albany. On Coolidge there at about approximately 10 45 p.m. Um, at that time I wanted to speak to Miss Bay. Uh, initially she refused. She did provide a license and eventually started speaking with me. Returned to my patrol vehicle at which time she exited her vehicle, uh, went to the rear of her vehicle, opened up her trunk, uh, went up to speak with her and escort her back to her seat in her car at which point she started resisting. So my fellow officer and I Took her to the front of my car, spoke with her, uh, initially handcuffed for officer safety. Uh, we released her without charging her for the misdemeanor, civil, or, uh, sorry, misdemeanor for resisting and obstructing, and we just went with the disobey red light. Oh, these damn revenue-generating tyrants always going soft on people. I mean, you missed a good opportunity to really show it to this soft tar. But on a serious note, I mean... This is a perfect example of the exact opposite that a lot of frauditors tend to portray officers as, as uh, uncaring, unsympathetic tyrants who will just charge you with every single crime under the book just to generate revenue. Yeah, this kind of goes against that little narrative now, doesn't it? And actually, at minutes 158 of my body cam, Miss Bay does admit to the infraction of disobeying the red light, stating she had to use the bat. Um, when you say resisting, what do you mean? So initially, we went up to her, asked her to step away from the trunk. Obviously, we didn't know what was in there. Um, she then began to retreat from officers. We then uh, grabbed her arm to help escort her to her vehicle, at which point she oh. tensed up her, pulled away, and started screaming at us. What do you mean by screaming? What did she say? 
May I re reference my report I have here? You may. Thank you. See, initially she said, four reasons that she her finger thing. So much, she you're breaking up. I can't. Near. Oh, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Yep. Uh, all I have here is that she was kept screaming, help me. Um, initially, when she was in her vehicle, she stated she didn't want to speak with us and that we were forcing her to say things against her will and that she was nervous because we had our sidearms and we were near her children. Um, once she was resi resisting, all I have noted here is that she kept screaming, help me. And um, that's all I've got in terms of that. I don't have access to my body camera footage at this time. Okay, okay. So now we've got a case of a uh, more soft heart who's following the script, uh, yelling for help uh, about a couple officers who are apparently going to be quite lenient on her. And, uh, well, she wants some help for what? I mean, to bring the charges back so she can uh, face uh, some actual time or something like that? Uh, go figure. Why is that? Uh, this is uh, virtual court, so I don't, I don't have uh, access to evidence.com. I don't have um, a work computer, so I don't, didn't know if it was appropriate to access mobily. All right, and Miss Bay, I'm the executrix for the um. Hi, I'm the executive executrix for the trust for Rita Bay. All right, Miss Bay, raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth and nothing but the truth under the penalties of perjury? I do. All right. What can you tell me about the ticket that was issued to you? Um, Your Honor, I, I actually put in paperwork and asked for discovery, and I was advised that um, I shouldn't testify until I get my discovery packet. So this isn't a criminal case. It is a, it's a civil infraction. You were free to order uh, under the Freedom of Information Act any information um, regarding this case prior to the hearing. Um, so it's not like a criminal case. It, it's a different standard. It's just a preponderance. It's not... Um, beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, but but you most certainly would have had access to that if you if you just FOIA'd the report or the body cam in this case. Um, but we are having the hearing today and you're free to give me your side of the story if you so choose. Um, on the day in question, um, I went through a red light. I had to use the bathroom, like really desperately. I had three teen teenagers in a car with me. And when um, the officer officers approached my vehicle touching their sidearms my daughter had my identification had the identification and i explained to them that this was a trust situation and they didn't care she was terrified and she ended up taking out my id because she did not want us to get killed or beat up or anything um because things have happened to family members i didn't want to get tased she didn't want us to get tased or beaten or killed well, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, uh, Miss Bay, uh, your daughter did the right thing because that's what you're supposed to do with a traffic stop, show your ID, and nothing will happen to you. I mean, it's just common damn sense. But, of course, uh, a lot of Moors don't have common sense whatsoever when it comes to traffic stops. In fact, uh, recent events with the, uh, well death of that police officer here recently due to a more soft heart just tends to prove that. I mean, you guys just, well, are insane when it comes to these traffic stops. So she ended up taking out my ID because I did not have to identify. It was no, it was not a situation for identifying, but we were forced to because of the guns and stuff. And my children were terrified. My son's girlfriend was in the car. He was terrified. I told him it was a trust situation. And I told him I had to use the restroom and because he said something about me uh, going through the red light, which there was no traffic. The traffic light is to direct traffic. There was no traffic. Oh, so that's your freaking excuse right there. The traffic light is there to direct traffic. So if there's no traffic uh, at that particular point, then you can disobey it. You can disobey the red light. Uh, 
No, that's not how that works. Uh, let's say that uh, you weren't paying attention to that traffic light to begin with under another circumstance, and you just happen to cross the line, and uh, you end up getting hit or you hitting hit another vehicle. Uh, yeah, uh, what about that? I mean, you didn't see the vehicle because you uh, have this idea that since there's no traffic there that... Uh, you can disobey it, therefore you did not pay attention to that car coming through the intersection when they obviously had the green light. Boy, you're really freaking stupid, aren't you? I really had to go, and I was really trying to get to the destination because I have a medical condition that's life-threatening right now. So I explained it was a trust, and it, I, I, they, they went to the car, and I got out to get tissue out my car, which I have a receipt and a picture that I did have tissue in my car. I was going to use the bathroom on the side of a house or wherever because I was not going to expose myself to waste matter with my blood condition. I They came up to me and I was like, it was like, ma'am, what are you doing? They all rushed towards me. They all grabbed me. Then all of a sudden, somebody had their hands between my legs, brisket touching me, my breasts searching me. They pushed me up against the car. They put cuffs on me in front of my children. They put me in the back of the car. I was screaming for help. They went up to the car and they were taunting my son in front of his girlfriend and his little sister who looks up to him. Like I said, I just had to use the bathroom. I asked them nicely. I said, can you please just sit me on the ground? I do not want to waste inside of your car. I wasted myself in my car once I got by in my car after they put me in the back of the car. So that's what happened on that day. And I asked the officers, how would you want your mother handled? I'm an older woman. And he did this in front of my, ch my children. I went to the temple earlier that day, a sacred in the Hindu temple and did sacred rituals. Wasn't nobody supposed to be touching me. And somebody just came up to me and was touching between my legs. And my breasts, and I don't know where they came from, and they were all surrounding me. Anything else you want to say, Miss Bay? I was screaming for help because I was terrified for my life. I was not guilty of anything, but needing to use the bathroom and not wanting to soil myself. I just wanted to get to my destination, which was off of Oneida and Nine Mile, which literally two minutes away. I did not make it. Okay. All right. The court has heard the testimony from Officer Malosh and from Ms. Bay in this case. The standard is a preponderance of evidence. Uh, Mr. Malosh testified that he saw Ms. Bay run the red light at Coolidge and North End. Uh, Ms. Bay acknowledged running the red light at uh, acknowledged running the red light in question in this case. Uh, the people's burden is satisfied. Uh, beyond a preponderance of the evidence in this case, I'm finding Ms. Bay responsible for running a red light. The fine is going to be. Uh, 165 you'll have till October 1st to pay it. Um, I will send that to the Novara address where we sent the other notices. So you'll get the paperwork in the mail. You're all set. Yeah, this is why you need a lawyer because you essentially admitted to the uh, traffic infraction and tried a little sob story right there that just didn't seem to work with the judge. And not to mention all the other BS throughout that story. I mean, you certainly do have a victim complex don't you? But wait, there's one more thing, and it involves one more soft tard little issue. Excuse me, Your Honor. So what I'm asking you is, let me have a I have a question. You're telling me is it is the court telling me that trust, trust, um, trust situations are not seen as trust because this is a trust matter. This is not right, what so you think there's, is. there's no there's no there's no trust situation recognized by the court. You are responsible. Make sure you pay the fine by October. Oh, so, uh, yeah, that little thing about the trillion dollar trust that you soft arts secretly have that, that doesn't really exist. Didn't exactly work for you in the court. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. That's because, yeah. These trusts that you say exist don't actually exist. We are not born with a trust that foreign investors put money into. I mean, good freaking grief. That's just insanity right there. And yes, 
That's one thing that soft cards tend to believe, that we are born with a trust that foreign investors put money into so that way they can get out of situations like this whenever they get traffic tickets or anything else like that. They expect this mythical, legendary trust to take care of everything for them. But it's just, well, like I said, a damn myth. They've never been able, pr able to prove that this trust exists or anything of that matter. Uh, yeah, it's just all lies just to get you hooked into this BS so they can scam you for more money. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Blue Serio? Who's that?